David from Dash Off Road, and this week we're going to review the Weather Traveller. essential need to take a barbecue with you. Um, for a while, you remember the days of like the brown one that your dad used to set up with the three uh, legs on it? We've evolved a lot further on from that. Uh, Weber Q and Ziggy seem to have held the market for the last, I don't know, five years or so, and I've done reviews on that as well. Go back to my channel and see which one's better out of the Ziggy and the Weber Q. But there's a new one on the market, which is the Weber Traveller. So, this is something that really it needs to be able to fit in that stupid hole in the front of a caravan, work good as a barbecue, and just be easy to use. Having it at you know waist high like this is perfect, but really there's no point going any further in this review unless it fits in that hole. So I'm going to measure the size of it all collapsed, and um, you can see it fits in your caravan or not. Right, so width. So will it fit that way in the hole? I'm getting around it up to 59 centimetres, so the hatch needs to be that wide. Height is probably the next most important. I'm getting 36 centimetres. And then length, which is probably got the length there, 1.1 metres. So when it's collapsed, it's going to look like that. And then to lift it up, there's a little unlock button here. Underneath here, there's another little red button. You put your foot on the red bit, and it lifts up like that. It's almost like an ambulance stretcher. Same to go down. It's got a strut so it doesn't fall down, so you don't have to be like super strong. And the clock just there. You can walk it around, but I would recommend two people to pick it up to put it in the tunnel boot. So a few things I need to think about with this is real estate is pretty good as far as this is concerned. Way better than the Ziggy or the Weber Q. So it's already got like a, an extra point going for it there. The next, um, you know, it's all good when you're grilling, but um, of course you want to do eggs or pancakes or maybe you want to heat some hot water up. So they've got these accessories too. So this is pretty good. I can fit, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six good eggs there. Um, there's a bit of weight to it. I reckon that's about six or seven kilos. Um, you can reverse it if you really want to. It's got a nice lip on the edge here, so your sausages aren't going to roll off. Um, I quite like that. This is a triver, and they designed this for if you're going to put like um, boiled water or something like that. But it sinks into um, the Weber. I've got some other ideas I'll talk about later about that part of it. Cleaning's pretty good, it's kind of like the, the Weber and Ziggy. You can sort of put everything down into the little basket underneath. There's some proprietary little uh, foils that go in there. Um, although I just got the cheapy one. Cleaning, yeah, gets points for cleaning too. Let's talk about fuel sources. So they give you one of these, actually don't give them, you've got to buy them, they're 18 bucks or something. So you can screw that straight in, and I guess if you're just having a quick cook up, say you're in a camp trail or something, and you just want to like throw it in, even the back of the car, back of the ute, chuck one of them in, very quick. Um, but you only get sort of three, maybe four cooks out of it, um, then you go again. Other sources, and this is what they, it's probably easier, is I'll give you like an adapter um, for this gas bottle to go into that same fitting, so it's regulated there. Um, and there's usually a thing where it rests in, like that one there. Um, but I guess one of the downfalls, uh, and once the gas bottle's in, it won't close up because this little mechanism won't let you do it, so they're a bit clever there. One of the downfalls, and I'm sure they've thought about this, is you can't hook it up to like a bayonet fitting that comes on like, underneath your caravan. And I believe that's a regulation thing now. Um, since it's come out recently that it has to be, if it blows out, it has to be able to turn itself off, which this can't do. But that is a, oh, it's a bit of a killer for some people because they don't want to pull that gas bottle out or 
you know, keep chewing through these little things. They just want to go straight to the bayonet. I reckon there is a workaround and I've seen it. So I wouldn't recommend this because that'd be the wrong thing to do. But I have seen people take the regulator off and go and buy that bayonet fitting and go straight to it. But I didn't tell you that. Whilst we're here, other little features. Um, got a little thermostat on top. That's cool, you need that. Um, somewhere to hang your tongs and that sort of thing or a, a bag for rubbish. Uh, it's a piezo start. So far it started first time every time. No problem at all there. Uh, a small amount of bench here. I wish, I wish that was bigger and I wish they had a paper towel roll. So we've just invented one. King's hammer going through into a saber recovery thing. <laughs> That fell off. That's been our paper towel dispenser, so it doesn't fly away. I wish I had that as well. Now, really, the big challenge is whether these barbecues fit in the van, because if they don't fit in the van, the whole thing is superfluous. So, um, uh, luckily on my new Jayco, it's got a pretty big tunnel boot, um, so that went in pretty easily. On Steve's Essentials Caravan, uh, it's a slightly smaller. But then this one is a smaller tunnel. Although it's wide, it is a smaller um, tunnel. So um, we'll see how it goes in Charlie's. She's tight, she's in. Good job, Bob. Thank you. on Euros with halloumi tonight halfway through and this is the part of the video where we're right at the end and giving you our opinion on whether this thing the Weber Traveler is any good now personally I think for a growing family the other options which are basically a Weber Q or the Ziggy are getting too small they were right when we had like two small kids and and Jared and I but as the family grows and they eat more you need more barbecue space. So this is the next level up and I'm pretty happy about that part of it. What do you reckon, Steve? No, I'm the same. I, uh, I love the little thing, it's great. Put the lid down, keep everything warm. We've actually got two of them going at the moment. So we can uh, cook on this one and we can keep one warm on the other. That's it, actually cook that's working quite well. I think what we need though is a little bit more of a, a little table slide out here just to give us a little bit more area to put our uh, odds and sods. I'd agree. If there was a slide out bit to come out there, yeah. that would be fantastic to put your other bits and pieces. I know it's small, but it's compact, it's brilliant to drag around with us, easy to throw back in the tunnel boot. I I'd think it's actually really, really good. I, I, I love it. I'm keeping mine. You keeping yours? Yeah, for sure. I'd like somewhere to put the paper towel, because I'm always cleaning with paper towel. Um, but. I guess if you're going to be like a barbecue snob, like say if you've got a nice, really nice steak, um, I don't think you could get the heat into this to like char a steak, but you know, you're on holiday, like you just want to like eat, it doesn't have to be gourmet, and it's fine for doing your osses, bacon and eggs and all that sort of thing, um, but yeah, and it's super efficient, like the amount of gas that it uses is next to nothing. Um, Not only that, like I was going to get the bar with you guys in the tunnel boot, but as you see, most awnings, mm. like most awnings stop here, and you're sort of in the sun, getting belted on while cooking tea. Nah, and drag that underneath. You can just put that underneath, or just go where the shade is and cook wherever you want. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. All right, so I think it's a thumbs up. This, the, the Weber Traveler, um, would totally buy another one. Um, totally not sponsored. They don't know if we're making a video or not. We just wanted to buy one and try it out. Definitely so, go with a different plate, though. Yeah, you've got to get the extra hot plate for sure. Trivet yet to be determined, to be honest. No, we haven't tried that yet, but we will. Yeah, we'll play around with that a bit more. But, um, all right, it is dinner time. So, we're out for now, and we'll see you next time on YouTube. Yeah, yeah.